Concerning the inquiries you asked us to make, concerning the girl you want to marry. Luca, you cannot marry her. Why? <laughs> Raphael, tell him. <clears throat> That's right. The girl comes from uh, Joko's family in. Uh, Amanasa. The Njoku family is dedicated to Ikenga. The god of fire, retribution, and justice. So, that's mm. right. That means that Ngozeka, the girl you want to marry, is an Oslo. Oh, wait, Uncle Rafa, please, let me get this straight. Huh? Are you saying that I cannot marry Ngozika because she is an Osu? That's right. <laughs> when you said I couldn't marry Ngozika, I thought it was something really serious. <laughs> oh, Daddy, please tell Uncle Rafa that this is the year 2000. Anybody can marry anybody if they both agree. <laughs> uh, Unduka. Yes, Papa. You cannot marry Ungosika or whatever her name is. We are free bonds. That's right. She is an Oso. You cannot be serious. Papa, don't tell me you're in support of this Osu nonsense. If you call the gods of our four beers nonsense, uh, I think you must need to have your head examined. That's right. Jesus Christ, Papa. We're in the 21st century for Christ's sake. People are going to the moon and you're talking about somebody who is dedicated to an ancient, powerless piece of wood you call a god? Hey. Listen to me, Utuka. Whether people are going to the moon or crawling under the earth whether this be the 21st or the 30th century and whether the gods of our forefathers were made out of wood or not does not count what counts is that this girl in question is that's right you are a freeborn and she is the slave of a jealous god. Umbuka understand that water and oil do not mix. That's right. Papa. I am a born again Christian. Ngozi is a born again Christian. The Bible teaches that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away, and behold, Papa, Mark, all things have become new. You don't give me that gibberish, young man. The Bible did not exist when the ancient instituted this Osu caste system. That's right. 
you will not marry Ungosika or whatever her name is. And that's the way it is. That's right. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? I'm okay. It's just that I had an argument with my father. About us? Yes. And what about? Forget it. It's not important. Let's go. Still up. Where are you coming from? From fellowship. Fellowship? At this time of the night? It's almost 11 p.m. Well, I I had a meeting with my Bible study group afterwards. That's why I'm late. Were you waiting up for me? Nduka. The town is becoming very dangerous. And you should not be driving around by this time of the night. Mama, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Nothing will happen to me, okay? Has Papa gone to bed? Yes. Okay. Uh, come on, look at Mama. I heard both of you quarreling this morning. What, what, what is it all about? Mama, you very well know what you were quarreling about. I think your father is right, Nduka. Can we talk about this in the morning, Mama? There's nothing wrong in talking about it now. Nduka. I am as much a Christian as you are. It is foolishness to ignore the things of the past. They come back to haunt you. Our tradition and custom supersedes whatever you have in that toy Bible. If you say you are a Christian and that you believe in what the Bible preaches and teaches, I am absolutely and extremely shocked that such a statement can come out of be you. Be reasonable, my friend. Will it be reasonable? Our tradition forbids a freeborn marrying an osu. I think, I honestly think, and I'm putting it to you, Mama, that such tradition and custom should be thrown in the trash. Yes, Mama, I have gone down on my knees. I've prayed and I have fasted. I have asked God to show me my true wife and a wife and in my And God, in his infinite mercy and wisdom, decided to choose an outcast to be your wife? Spare me that stupidity, Ndoka. Come back here, Ndoka. Mama, I am tired. I am hungry. I need a good, good bath and then a sound sleep. So if you don't mind, please, excuse me. Maybe you go down on your knees and ask God to choose another wife for you. The one he found is not welcome in this house. May God forgive you, Mama. What did you say? Ndoka, what did you say? It's all right. Oh, it has come to this, isn't it? It has come to the point of you ignoring your mother because of an outcast? It's all right. I will see under whose roof you will bring her.
Even at 100, they still do it. <laughs> no, not changed. <laughs> Set for work? Yeah. Are you not having breakfast? No, I'm already late. Young man, please make yourself available in my office at 4 o'clock. There is someone I'd like you to meet. Okay. See ya. Bye. 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 I went to drop Ngozika off at school. So you are now a taxi driver? Anyway, if you want to open the yellow cab business, you can do whatever you want to do. That's not why I called you. I... I want you to meet with someone. Blessing. Please tell the driver to pull out the car. Yes, thank you. Vivian, tell your father I'll be seeing him on Saturday evening at the club. We'll be back. Enjoy yourself. Bye. Bye bye. a lovely father, like my old man, very officious. So tell me, what did he say your name was again? Vivian, Vivian Agbaku. Vivian Agbaku. So Vivian Agbaku, what can I offer you because my father does not have any other drink here besides brandy? Oh, then brandy will be. Good old brandy is good for the body. We want it neat. So tell me, do you always get introduced to people like this? My father and your father arranged this meeting. I do not see what is wrong with it. They know what is best. And you do not know what is best for you? My father is a perfectionist and I always trust his judgment. I see. And you say you studied in the UK? Sure. 
Higher school, university, five years in the UK. You heard me the first time, young man. I said, how did it go with Vivian? Well, she finished her drink and then she left. And you got thoroughly acquainted with her? I do not understand you, sir. Like I said, she finished her drink and then she left. We didn't have much to talk about. Besides, I had a meeting with the head of personnel. You are a fool. An absolute fool. Look, I sent for that girl because she's going to be your wife. She's going to be what? Ndoka. Look, I and your father have discussed this. Vivian is a blue blood. And in my own opinion, she is a thousand times better than that outcast you are trying to marry. Mama, please don't give me that. God did not make anybody an outcast. You and Papa decided that Ngozi is an outcast. And I am not part of that decision. I think I'm old enough to take decisions of my own. Not in this house. You will do as you are told. I will not marry a girl who drinks and smokes. That is not my idea of a wife. If that be so, I forbid you from seeing Ozzy. And if you do, you will know why I brought you to this world. your problems with me, then how do we start solving it? Talk to me. Look up, please. Talk to me, please. It's my parents. They said I shouldn't see you again. And what did you tell them? What am I supposed to tell them? Yes or no? Did they tell you why they said that? Yes, yeah, some nonsense about having carried out that investigation and found out that you're an Osu. It's no nonsense in the car. 
You don't believe all that hogwash, do you? No, I don't. But we are Igbos. Our people believe in some things. It is something I have to do with Rubbish. Aren't nonsense. What right does anybody have to call another person an outcast? So what do we do? Well, I'm going ahead with my plans. I can marry whoever I want to marry. Not without the parents' letter. So I should see somebody else. Is that what you're saying? Huh? I should go ahead and marry the girl that brought me because you've been labeled an osu. They brought another girl for you? Yes, they did. A daughter to one of my father's friends. Ngozi. Understand that God works for the good of those who love Him. I know, Pastor. I know. Remember also, the Bible says that whatever God has cleansed, no man shall call unclean. If the Spirit has led both of you to agree with each other, then go right ahead. The church is behind you. Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you very much. It's all right. Send Gozi across. I'd like to speak with her. I shall. I shall. You should commit everything to God. Only He can change your parents' mind. Have a good day. You too. I beg for my leave. Yes, Papa. But I had already invited Ngozi over for lunch, so I decided to go and pick her. Hey, is this not the Ngozi that we've been quarreling about? Who? What did you bring her here to do? What did you bring her here for? Well, I brought her here to introduce her to you. For her. Huh? Introduce her, Nduga. Yes. Nduga. You brought this disease. This accost of the gods to this house. Do you want her to bring accosts upon us? Papa. That's right. Because he's going to be my wife. I'll appreciate it very much if you do not use such words on her. You wait for me. Wait for me and you see. Where is this thing? Take that infection out of my house before I take you out of this world. Papa, if you are going to shoot me because I have made a choice about who I am going to marry, then you go ahead because I am not going to change my mind. You dare talk to me like that? Eh? You dare talk to me like that? Son! 
son. No son of Israel will marry an outcast when he knows the consequences. He is not my son. God forgive you. Luca! What did you just say? Jeeves! Alright, it's alright. It's okay. It's alright. What did you right. just say? Exactly what you heard. You can't talk to me like that, Jeeves! You talk to me like that because of an outcast! Jeeves! You idiot! Jeeves! You idiot! Nonsense! Bastard! together, okay? We'll get over this. Do you understand? Come on. That's better. That's better. That's my girl. What's so funny? You know, as much as I love you, so naive. I should pull, pull myself together. Your parents consider me an outcast. They have arranged another woman for you. And you say I should come down. Now we'll get over it. How can we get over it? I've told you, no other woman will be my wife, and that's how it stays, okay? If my father does not like my decision, he can do whatever he pleases and wishes. Pull yourself together. as I have always respected everybody here and taken advice, I wish to say that you should allow me to live my life the way I want. Ban -ban. You will not live your life this way, Ntoka. Uh -uh. That's right. Look, it is unheard of that one of our own she will marry Anus. Eh, eh, it's not done. My son, do you know the consequences of marrying Anus? <laughs> Maybe you should tell him. If you defy advice, your firstborn will automatically go mad. That's right. Your students subsequently will die before they attain the age of 10. Oh. And of course, the cry of suffering will not cease in the home. That's right. Look, I tell you, if it's a calamitous thing to attempt, Ndoka, hey! I have made up my mind, and nothing can change it. I have told the church about my plans and they are ready to initiate my moves. In that case, you leave me no other choice 
than to tell you that you no longer have in me a father. If it is your desire to bring death and calamity upon yourself, I will not allow you to contaminate other members of the family. You will move out. You will hand over the keys that, of the car that you've been using. And you will pack your things out of the office before Monday. No, Zena. Huh? You cannot do that. You are cutting our only son out from us. And that is not the answer to this problem. If you have any other answer, so that's what I want. You will now go in, pack your things, and join him. Nonsense. He knows what to do. I got for him a young, pretty girl from a good home, and he decides to remember the dregs of society. If that is where he wants to belong, <laughs> let him remain there. I have found a good woman in Ngozika. And I also believe that you are the one that showed her to me. Father, right now I am being thrown out of my own father's house because I refuse to call unclean what thou had made whole. Father in heaven, guide me. Protect me. I commit this relationship into thine hands. As I go out into this wicked world, Father, I ask for thy strength and thy grace to face the travails ahead. I thank and bless you because you have answered my prayer. In Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. I did not say anything is wrong with Vivian. All I am saying is that she's not my wife. Ngozi is. Whether you people consider her so or not.
living is a big phenomenon yet very simple and we have to be careful how we live it hasty decisions may boomerang therefore we have to be careful in taking decisions You are my son, and you will always remain my son. Come, let's go. of the implications that you will be ostracized from Ehite because they will take you to be to be an outcast and also that I cannot attend any community functions and even if I did I, I will not be allowed to speak Marry two, three, four, five ribbons. I will be happy. I will marry no other person besides Ngozi, Papa. Somebody has to put a stop to this obnoxious belief one day. We all can't just sit on the fence and watch things continue to go bad. My son, this revolution that you are preaching will not start from my house. The price is too high. I cannot afford it. I can. Is there anything else? and in health, till death do you part. I do. And you, Sister Angozi Wachuku, do you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold, to love and to obey, for better, for worse, in sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer, till death do you part? I do. And let the church say... Heavenly Father, 
I bless this race. And I bless this marriage and I ask that your presence in this marriage bless them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. You may now wear it. With this ring, I thee wear And let the church say, Amen. I pronounce you man and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. We now please take right. Come in. Come in, please. Good afternoon, sir. Please sit down. Thank you very much. You may not know me. I am Chief Ezenaya, father to Untuka, who got married here recently. Oh, yeah, it's a pleasure meeting you, sir. Why not sit down? No, no, no. I want to know why you consummated that marriage without his parents' consent. Or did he tell you that he had no parents? I do not understand what you wanted me to do. Both of them consenting adults, led by the Holy Spirit, wanted to become husband and wife. And since there was no contrary opinion, I, I had to wed them. And you did not think whatsoever that it was necessary for you to at least talk to their parents. You, a pastor, a man of God, who should have advised him, you just allowed it to go on like that. Sir, the Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4, that everything God created is good and nothing to be rejected. The Bible also says, Pastor, that honor thy father and thy mother so that your days will be long. Provided. Provided that in God's will. Get away. People are not interested in hiring administrative managers. Well, you can work in another capacity. Yes, yes, but nobody is doing the hiring. Nobody is willing to hire my services. It's like the whole world is against me. Oh, come on, honey, don't talk like that. He who is with you is bigger, far bigger than he who is in the world. Of course, I know that. And you better do something fast because it looks like the whole world is trying to swallow me here. Did you want something to eat? If you have it. My mother gave me some money. She did? So I went to the market and bought some foodstuffs. That's so nice of her. Okay, get me something to eat fast. I'm starving. Okay. Huh?
Father, I pray, please have mercy on your children. Ngozi is almost due for delivery and I do not have a dime in my pocket. Father, please help me. you can do. So the only help we can give to both your wife and the baby is to evacuate and hope for the best. This is my second child. The wife will live in Doka, but the baby, I do not know. Oh, Father. Let's go to the group. Let's go and see the baby. So what do, what do I look forward to? Well, your wife survived. That is the good part. The bad part is that the baby was pretty damaged. To what extent we can be sure now? What we do know is that motor reflexes were affected. A vegetable. My son is a vegetable. Knows the best. Crime to visit my son, is it? Won't you offer me a seat?
What can I offer you? Nothing. How is Papa? He's fine. And your wife? She's fine. How are you doing? We're doing just fine. Do not pretend to me, Ndoka. No matter what happened, you still remain my son. Your wife is not fine and you're not doing all right. Come and sit down. Sit down. Your mother is talking to you. I heard what happened. I came to see how they are doing. They are still in the hospital. In the hospital? You have always been a strong-headed young man. Ndoka, search yourself carefully. Don't you think a cause is following you? Mama, please. Please. you left your father's company, have you been able to get another job? Your first child died at birth. This second one is already an idiot. All these things happening because you married an, an outcast. An osu. A cost person. A person dedicated to the God. I do not need to be reminded of my misfortunes, Mama. Whatever is happening to me, God, I believe, knows. And he will act when the time comes. I think it's high time. You better start. Sometimes I'm afraid to wake up in the morning Suffering is all I see each day Lord, I don't understand what's happening When will these problems pass away? All my life I've been a true believer you know I serve you faithfully Anytime I call you, you answer Please let this cup pass away from me You're the light in my darkness, comfort of my soul My refuge and my cornerstone when the storm surrounds me, there's one thing I know, you're with me, I'll never be alone. You're the light in my darkness, comforter of my soul. I thought you said you were my God! My refuge I thought you said I should trust me, I should test you! Why are you doing this to me? Why? Why? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He may get me lie down in green pastures. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow that I know I'm not alone. He's my refuge and my cornerstone. You're the light. 
light in my darkness, comforter of my soul, my refuge and my cornerstone. When the storm surrounds me, there's one thing I know, you're with me, I'll never be alone. stolen by some thieves on Okada. Everything I have in my life, my, my, my certificate, my papers, my documents, everything. Even the last money that was on me was stolen. Everything. No! It's alright. It's alright. Get up. Get up. It's okay. Get up. Get up. Get up. Whatever circumstance, we must have our eyes fixed on God. He is the author and finisher of our faith. Yes, Pastor, I know, but what we need now is help. You see, I can't go back and meet my father to ask him for anything because he'll only remind me of the fact that I disobeyed him. Brother Nuka, you did no wrong. You did not disobey your father. You only obey God. And I can assure you that he who keeps Israel will neither sleep nor slumber till he has perfected all that concerns you. I'll pass word around in the church that you need a job. I'll find out what you have come up with. Thank you, Thank you very much, Pastor. Teach us in your word that we should always trust in you. Father, these your children are here before you presenting their problems. It is you alone that has all the answers. Jehovah El Shaddai, our eyes are firmly fixed on you. And I ask, oh God, that you take control and see them through. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Don't look at me. Stop. You are blessed. Amen. I want to assure you that God answers every prayer that we have been praying. And He will wipe out every tear from your eyes. Amen. 
I want you to manage this. Let's just watch out and see what God will do. Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you so much. Landlord, you should take it easy, you know. You want to break down your own door. You have the audacity to open this your mouth and talk to me anyhow. Anyway, I don't blame you. I should blame myself. Who let out my house to a jobless fellow like you? You know, Landlord, it will do you no harm if you are just a little kinder. What can I do for you? Two weeks to pay the rent of or, or pack out. Yes, that's what that notice says. And if at the end of that two weeks you do not pay me up, I'll kick you into the street. How can you owe me for one year? And then you're not making any effort to pay me. No problem, sir. I'm sure by the end of the two weeks I would have found the money. You better do. You better do. in your hands, Father. rent in two weeks or pack out. Luca. Yes. Do you think your parents are right? Do you think all this thing is happening to us because I am on the soup? When did such ideas start entering your head? How could you think of such a thing? how everything is going from bad to worse. And it's not from lack of trying. Ngozi. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Listen. Our God says we should stand still and know that He is God. Let's wait for his appointed time, okay? When would that be? When we die? No. He says we shall sing of joy in the land of the living. He will not wait for us to die before he rescues us. Have faith, sweetheart. Have faith. Okay? Yes. Is this where Mr. Andokezenia lives? Yes. How may I help you? I have a letter for you, sir. 
From where? From GM Group of Companies. Dear Mr. Unduka Ezenaya, subsequent to your application to the tenders board for the contract to supply the rubber seats for the construction of the Independence Arena, we hereby wish to invite you to a defense and cost analysis. The board will sit on Friday, the 18th June, by 10 a.m. Looking forward to seeing you. Did you submit any application letter to the tenders board? No. I don't, I, do, I, I don't even know of any construction like Independence Square. Then where did that come from? I don't, Mama, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. They must have the wrong person. But he says we stand to get in there here. That is your name. That's where it's strange, really. That's where it's really strange because I don't understand. That's one thing I'll have to find out. Anyway, let me get to the market and see what I can pick up. Nduka. Uh -huh. Wipe out those worry lines from your face. Alright? Good things are about to happen. Huh? Now, please let me take care of the baby. Yes, I will. I'll do that. Yes, hello, hello. Who are you looking for? Please, I'm looking for Mr. Anduka is in there. Yes, that's me. You are needed at the Ireland Hospital. For what? If, if I may ask. Your wife was involved in some sort of accident. Huh? What did you say? What happened to her? What's wrong with her? What happened to her? What happened to her? Well, I don't know the details, but you're needed right away. Asking for Mrs. Sungozi is in Naya. I, I think they just brought her in. Mrs. Sungozi? Mm. Go shot. Go shot? Holy Father, Jesus. Jesus. Where is she? Where is she? She's in room 105. Down here. 105. Oh. Not disturb her. Go see. Go see. 
She was caught in a crossfire between policemen and armed robbers. How is she? She's fine. She will live. We removed the bullet that was not in her right picture. The rest is tissue damage. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. And I'm doing my job. And she has to undergo. And that will cost you 50,000 naira. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thank God your wife is a strong woman. She will make it. I'm sure that she will make it. Thank you very much. Thousand naira. That won't be much of a problem. Make out an application for a loan to the welfare department. I will appeal to them. Thank you very much, Pastor. Oh, Thank you. That reminds me. I talked uh, to the chairman of the tenders board concerning the new independence arena they are constructing. He's a member of the church and he's willing to help. He said you should apply and bid for the supply of plastic chairs. 
I couldn't get fast enough to you, so I took the liberty of uh, writing out the application myself. You should be expecting a letter from them soon. Hopefully, something good might come out from them. Thank you very much, Pastor. I already have an invitation from them. Yes, yes. I was beginning to wonder how they got my name. <laughs> now I see how they got it. <laughs> thank you so much, Pastor. Well, thank God. You see, his ways we might not understand all the time. But they are always right for us. The details of the ten dial in that envelope. Study them carefully before you approach the board. Why are you doing that? Ah, Pastor, you should know now. Must be in twice shy. You mean security? Security. Brother, let me know. Okay, sir. I'll respond to you. Are you living here? Yes. I'm looking for one Mr. Anduka as a liar. Well, I happen to be the one. Is there, is there, is there any problem? <sighs> no problem at all. Okay, um, so how may I help you then? That's for you. I seem to be receiving an awful lot of mail these days. What's inside this one? Your wife was hit in a shootout between us and some criminals in a, at the market junction three days back. Yes, she was. I've been sent by the force headquarters to inform you that in line with our efforts to build a new image for the Nigerian police force, and towards fostering a better community relations. The Nigerian police force have undertaken to bear the cost of your wife's treatment. You have what? Not only that, the Nigerian police will also pay a compensation of 200,000 Naira for the damages and inconveniences cost you and your family. The details you will find in the envelope you are holding. today. No. Mama extends her greetings. She couldn't make it down because she had to go to the market with the baby. Market? Where'd you cut the money from? How did we pay the bills? 
The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Have you gotten the money? Yes. All of it? All of it. <laughs> Guess what? I applied for a loan at the church and I was given. That's not all. I got to the house, huh? And then I found the police waiting in front of our house. Police? Yes, the police. You know what he told me? He said that they have undertaken to pay your hospital bills and with it a compensation of 200,000 naira. What? <laughs> and that's not the end of the blessing. I went to the meeting of the tenders board screening and I was awarded the contract to supply the plastic chairs for the new independence arena. You don't believe it? I'm telling you. The contract is worth 9 million naira, honey. 9 million naira. And it's just 4.5 million naira for the supplies. Therefore, the remaining 4.5 million goes right into my pocket. And I'm going to receive my check on Friday. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Ngozi, it's Inaya. You're looking at a millionaire. <laughs> Been so good. You are so good to us, oh Lord, you are excellent in our lives every day. Oh Lord, you have been so good. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. The Lord has been so good, so good to us. Honey, why are you crying? What is the matter? It's too much. Too much in one go. I'm just happy. It's okay. Oh my God, you're so kind. Oh. Thank you. 
this way. There's only one other thing that you can do when you're abroad. That's the only place you can get the kind of treatment he requires. And that would be very costly. Almost three million naira. I don't know whether you can afford that. I can. Is everything all right? This... This madness of Nubuka must be stopped. We cannot watch him tarnish the name of our family. I... I don't care how much it costs. him never to see peace in his life. The okra tree never grows above its owner. But he is your son. The anger of a father over a child does not get to the bones. My brother's son. No son of ours will disobey us. We made him and we have a right to destroy him if we want. So be it. So be it. I'll do your wish. A thousand plagues will follow him. Go home. Go and watch what will happen to him. It's all right. I forgive you. 
than your father and your mother ever was. Amen. Amen. You shall make this family grow in Jesus' name. Amen. Anita. Anita. I'm here. Take care of them while I'm away. I will. You will make it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I'm afraid to wake up in the morning Suffering is all I see each day Lord, I don't understand what's happening When will these problems pass away?